69, 70, 70 79, 71. Damn it, Charlie, I lost count. Um, I'm so sorry. I know you probably had like a million things to do today as manager. All right, wise guy, just take a seat. Oh, wise guy. It's your 80th birthday. I'm so sorry. Happy birthday, Hugh. We went to elementary school together. We're the same age. Well, Hugh, you could have fooled me based on how seriously you've been taking this job. It's a serious job. There's a lot at stake. You wouldn't get it. I forgot. I mean, if something happens here, like, that's cream on your hands. Yeah, Charlie, I'm firing you. You can't fire me. I'm flavor of the month. Actually, Charlie, you're not. It's August. Rodney? You're gonna pick Rodney as flavor of the month? That's so progressive of you, Hugh. Sorry, Charlie, no one wants New England vanilla anymore. People love New England vanilla. They, this election was rigged. Votes came in last night, asshole. You're not flavor of the month. Well, at least tell me why I'm getting fired, Hugh. It's my Sixth Amendment right. The Sixth Amendment is the right to a fair and speedy trial. Well then, gather the jurors because that's what I want. You're getting fired because you broke every rule and code of conduct we have. Name three. You used a company card to buy a personal drone. Do you realize how many MasterCard points we got for that? I mean, we are like that much closer to going on the staff trip to the Bahamas. I mean, besides, I would obviously let you shoot some dope footage on that drone. You turned off the freezers for tonight. I'm sorry, I'm trying to save the planet over here. You changed one of the flavor signs to Rocky Roadhead. Okay, in my defense, that marshmallow ripple came out of nowhere. And? And? And I heard you were having a party this weekend, and I wasn't invited. You were still pissed off that you weren't invited to my fifth grade Willy Wonka party. Sweets are my passion, Charlie. That's one wound that'll never heal. Hi, Hugh. Sorry to interrupt your firing, Charlie. Oh, I'm not getting fired. Yes, she is. Oh, by the way, Charlie, I can come by this weekend, and my mom says she's more than happy to bring her handbags. Rodney, first of all, that was the worst timing in the world. Second of all, you better savor every second of being flavor of the month because they will rip that away from you faster than a lick of Rocky Roadhead. That's fast. Yeah, I know. And third, I'm so excited to see Linda. Please thank her for coming. But his mother's not invited. Yes, she is, Hugh. She's a fantastic woman. Hugh, my mom fucking rocks. I'm dumbfounded you would even compare yourself okay, to her. Okay, that was an aggressive use of dumbfounded, but I support it. No, Rodney, your mother is very kind. I just- Hugh, let's take a breath, okay? Rodney? I'm not getting fired. Yes, she is. So what's up? What can I help you with? You are getting fired. We're out of napkins. Oh my God. That is insane. How can we be out of napkins? God, I wish we had a manager who checked inventory every morning. How are we out of napkins? I don't know, but at least we have 65 spoons, right, Hugh? Well, because I was loading a bucket full of chocolate syrup into Charlie's car this morning, and I thought it was going to be lighter because, you know, it's dark chocolate, so half the calories. But it turns out chocolate syrup's actually really slippery. Why were you loading a bucket of chocolate syrup into Charlie's car? For the slip and slide, Hugh. Keep up. And you thought I was dumbfounded. Okay, that's just a weird use of it. I mean, are you serious, Hugh? Rodney, get back to your counter. I'll get more napkins after my shift. Are you kidding me? I can't think of more of an emergency right now. A school on fire. What? I, I don't know. I was just thinking of building burning down with screaming children. It sounds like more like an emergency, you know? Rodney, you're fired. No, you're not, Rodney. What? Oh my gosh. Are you serious, Charlie? I'm flavor of the month. Yeah, well, you took it for granted, Rodney. But fine. You have to call my mom and tell her we're not coming to your party this weekend because my mom has been making ham buns this entire week. Oh shit, the hand buns, I forgot. Rodney, I actually have some really good news. I'd love to hire you again. Oh my gosh, do I get to still be flavor of the month? Don't push it, Rodney. <laughs> Thank you so much, Charlie. I promise I won't disappoint you. Hugh, listen, I know I haven't been like the best employee ever, but the truth is I really look up to you and I want to be like you. No, I do, okay? You're like the greatest boss ever. Remember that time that uh, Hank like dripped a little bit of peanut sauce right into the cookies and cream and Susie with her allergies came walking in and right as she went for that first lick, I mean, you saved her life. That's true. I know I'm not the roundest scoop in the bowl, but I love this job and I can't imagine my life without it. I'm sorry, Charlie, you broke my trust. I'm not sure how we can take this relationship any further. Our relationship means everything to me, Hugh. Just name it. I'll do anything. Invite me to your party. I'm sorry, what? Invite me to your party. Oh, no, Hugh, I can't, I can't do that. Well, then you're not getting your job back. Okay, so you're saying if I invite you to my party, I get to keep my job. Yes. And I get to be flavor of the month. Yes. And I get a raise. I never said that. Oh my God, a hundred bucks a week. I mean, I could do a lot more with that. And besides, I get to promote New England vanilla like a whole month longer. I really appreciate it. I mean, thank you for everything, but no, I can't do that, so.
I quit. Two, three, four, 